I'm Stacy Gordon. Welcome to That's My Jam. Now there is no doubt one of the very best ways to make pulled pork is to stick that thing on the smoker in the morning and tend to it all day long. You're going to get those nice burnt ends, that smoky flavor. It's delicious. But let's face it, sometimes you don't have the luxury of having an entire day to devote to smoking a piece of pork. Maybe you'd rather spend your summer day at the pool or running errands or doing anything but standing outside next to a hot grill or a hot smoker all day. If that's the case, have I got the recipe for you. I caught a pork loin on sale the other day and I decided I wanted to be able to use it to make some pulled pork. I'm going to show you how to make that thing absolutely mouth-watering while you're out at the pool, running errands, doing whatever it is you need to do on a busy Saturday. So let's get started. So I'm going to get started early in the day. I've got my crock pot ready and the ingredients that I'm going to need to get started. The pork loin I'm using is just over three and a half pounds. Like so many of my other meat recipes in the crock pot, I'm going to be starting out with one half cup water. One of the biggest mistakes people make when using the crock pot is too much water. Next, I'm going to add one packet of dried onion soup mix. I'll use a spoon to make sure my water and my soup mix are blended. I've added my pork loin to the crock pot and I've seasoned it with the steak and chop seasoning that we made a while back. You can find the recipe for this in my video about air fryer pork chops. We're going to place a lid on this, turn the setting to high, and now we're going to go do some fun stuff. Five hours have passed now. I cooked this on high for four hours and low for one hour. Guys, look at this. It's juicy and beautiful and it's so tender. It just falls to pieces just moving it around with my tongs. Now my house is divided on the next step. My daughter likes a little pulled pork on a flour tortilla or possibly with some nachos. So I'm setting aside a nice bowl of this just for her. As for the rest of it, I'm wanting some barbecue. I added my Sweet Baby Ray's right in there. Any juice that was still left in the crock pot stayed in there. I'm just mixing in that beautiful Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce just the way it is. Guys, we have got some beautiful pulled pork barbecue here. It's juicy, it's succulent, it's tender, and best of all, it was so easy. I really hope you guys will love this method of making pulled pork. It doesn't heat up your house, you don't have to stand over a hot grill all day, and the best part, you can be out doing other things while it's cooking. I really hope you have a great week ahead. I'll see you on Thursday. In the meantime, turn off the TV, turn on some music, and just keep jamming.